Welcome to Seasons, Part 1, with me, Mr. Sealy P. That's right, it's here. Seasons mod for consoles. I'm going to make a couple of disclaimers just before I start. One, I am playing on PS4. I'm assuming this is the same on Xbox One. Cannot be 100% certain, but I assume it is. If it's not, then there'll be, I would imagine Xbox gamers will be putting theirs up and you can have a look on those. I'm just doing it from a PS4 perspective because that's what I'm playing on. I know this is not a new mod on PC. I know that as well. So when I say this is a new mod to help, I mean for console. Um, so I know normally people message me and say this has been out ages. I understand that. This is huge. I cannot emphasize that enough. Massive. Um, and I've been saying, people have been commenting for quite a while now on my video saying when will we get seasons do you think we'll get seasons and whilst i said i doubt it i did often say you know there's always the possibility someone who's very very good at what they do can probably get this to work i wasn't sure how they would because i don't know anything about modding but it's been done realismus modding wow i mean yeah this is a game changer full on absolute and it is because it changes everything this is not just that it's a game changer because it will make the game easier or this changes the game massively now moving on quickly this is not going to be a full and comprehensive guide to the seasons mod this is just an introduction what i've found what i've gleaned so far i'm learning as much as anybody else because i've never used it before um so this is bits I've picked up, if this helps PS4 gamers, if it helps Xbox gamers, fantastic. Um, you will need to install the Seasons mod, this one here. You will need to install that first. What you've also got in the mod hub is Seasons Snowy Lands, Seasons Paraguay, Seasons Wales, Seasons US Midwest and Seasons Northern Sweden. What's brilliant about these is you need to install the Seasons mod anyway for these other ones to work. If I click onto one of these, you can actually then set it so it changes the settings to fit that particular environment. So this one, the Snowy Lands, is snowy all the time. You won't be able to do any farming, you won't be able to do anything. I think you can do poplars, probably some logging as well, I would imagine. But that's it. You can't do anything else. Um, it's just all snow which is absolutely brilliant um, you've got Seasons Paraguay which kind of sets it for a Southern American feel so it's got the the, the the seasons are changed so it's the hotter climate and human environment and all that kind of thing specifically for that particular part of the world uh, the Northern Sweden one again lo longer harsher winters than the standard uh, colder soil temperatures all the things it says there um, the seasons for growth, the seasons for harvesting are shorter, long, you know, everything changes, everything changes. The US Midwest, uh, it's the Corn Belt, so again, everything shifts. And then the last one, Seasons Wales, and if you've been to Wales, well, I say that, it's one of those general kind of comments. People say, oh yeah, it's always raining in Wales. It's not always raining in Wales, but it's a very wet climate. So that's set for that, which is going to make harvesting a lot harder and all that kind of thing. So you can actually change the characteristics or you can just have a standard seasons on and it will play for a normal kind of seasons. So what I will do is come out and this is the other thing. Not all of the maps are set up for seasons mod, although it seems to work on them. Uh, Bullet Bill posted the other day saying he's resubmitted West Coast for console for seasons. I put it on earlier, it went on and it worked, but I'm assuming it won't work fully or it's not fully compatible or I'm not 100% certain about that. So I don't know how many maps it will work on, whether it will work on all of them, but until they're fully converted, it won't have full compatibility. I'm not 100% certain on that. Like I say, not a mod, I'm not a modder, so I'm not, I really don't know. I'm going to put it on West Coast just to show you some of the features. Um, like I say, it's not going to be, I don't think, fully compatible. I think the Giants in-house game uh, maps, Goldcrest Valley, Sosnovka, um and Stancy Lapacho, those ones I think it should work fine on, but again, I could be wrong. So, bear with me a minute. 
I'll just make sure this is actually because this is on a current gameplay that I've got working so this will just be for this video and then I'll go back to my standard let's play so don't worry if you're watching that let's play that it's suddenly going to change there you go I've enabled it and let's start okay so we're ready to start we click start the first thing that you'll see that will come up is this growth reset so if you've already if this is a new save game you'll be fine if it's an old save game like it says there you've loaded seasons on an old save game seasons wants to reset all fields to their bare state to synchronize with the game day you will lose all crops if you do not reset growth the seasons might not work as expected so you can either keep growth or reset if you reset it resets everything so if you're part way through field growth and that kind of thing it goes back to harvested I believe I'm going to click reset just so you know it's easier to make sure it works okay I've also if you watch my let's plays normally I've enlarged the uh, information bars just so you can see what's going on that's changed top right hand corner it says early spring zero one so that's the first day of gameplay in early spring there's also a little bar at the side that tells you the air temperature the ground temperature and the little thing there I think is the season so that's the spring season and if you look at the ground I know it's night time because it's the, the let's play that I was on it's reset the grass as well so the grass has all gone like it's all been it's all been cut so everything has reset now this isn't going to be a let's play there's going to be no gameplay I'm just going to show you where a few things are and how things work then there will be other videos that will follow as I learn how to do stuff how things are going to pan out from there but this is just to give you a bit of a help a bit of a guide through where to find things and that kind of thing so if I go into the main menu and I now go across to growth everything has reset well, I say everything some haven't which is a bit peculiar but anyway they're all on purple or lilac whatever color you want to call it depends on your screen um, saying harvested so that's the first thing if we scroll across to animals now everything's going to change here it's trying to work out the best order to kind of go through it in but if we scroll across to animals you'll now notice under the animals page it doesn't say productivity anymore it says health and what the mod does um, it takes an average over time to work out your kind of your productivity it will be it will be on cleanliness whether they've got water whether they've got hay grass all the feed they need but it won't be that instantaneous change it will take time because it's over the course of a season because the growth periods aren't going to be you know you'll grow an entire crop in a six hour cycle it's going to take the year to grow whatever crops you're growing we'll get onto that in a second and it is it can be very very complicated some people say no it's easy it makes sense it's no problem at all um, it can be quite complicated so there's a health bar now and there's an average take on that if you look at all my feed they should all be at 100% but they're only at 80 because it will gradually work out over time whether I'm keeping them in a healthy state as we go along the other thing is and I haven't gone through to see for definite yet but if you go onto Realismus Modding's uh, website, um, there's loads and loads of information about the mod and all the different information on there. It's fascinating, quite long-winded. Some of it is, I assume it's for everybody, but it could be more PC. Your animals can now die. If you've got the Seasons mod on, if you don't water them, don't feed them, you will start to lose animals. That's an interesting change. So that's the animal bit and again that's not in massive detail we'll get more onto that in other videos as well but if we scroll across to uh, farm basics so on farm basics if you need any help with anything if you scroll across now in here you will have one that says seasons any information you need about seasons is in here I say any there is more on the realismus modding website and I think a lot of it is mirrored but if you're not sure there is this section now in the help bit so you've got about the seasons um, you've got seasons seasonal effects 
1 and 2 and I'm not going to go through all of this because there's loads of reading and I'll, it'll just be me sitting here reading to you uh, weather forecast, soils, crops obviously it's going to change arable, hay, straw and grass changes trees it's, yeah um, weather effects on crops maintenance of vehicles which is a different thing we're going to look at in a minute as well um, economy and hired help hired help is a big difference and I looked at this the other day and thought whoa okay hired workers require overtime pay now so if you hire a worker and use them before 6 o'clock in the morning or after 6 p.m. or on the weekends you have to pay them 50% more because it's an overtime rate that's clever that's very very clever um, so yeah and you've got animal differences production then the season's menu and I'm, I read this and think okay brilliant the stuff about the hard season's menu brilliant wonderful couldn't find the season's menu so it's a bit of a panic but don't worry I have now found it so coming back out don't worry about it still being dark that's fine so if you like I say if you come back into the menu and you scroll across I've been through animal statistics general settings game settings the help bar again map overview prices vehicles so like, uh, okay I can't find anything that says seasons menu so that was a bit of a panic and it says page one page two page three here's what you do I'm come back on there again if I go to help window on so now the help, help window left hand side um, if I do L1 it now says seasons open menu if I press my options button so L1 and options I now get a separate menu come up you've got your calendar and this is the calendar for all the crops when you can plant them when you can harvest them and I think when you can replant because some of the crops are winter crops wheat barley and canola I think you can replant to go through this is where I'm, I'm, I'm just the same as anyone else playing this um, I'm getting my head round how this works I also see radish poplar and grass are pretty much all the time which is great but then some of the other ones are very very different and that's really really cool economy for each one of these it will show you um, if I click on yeah so the prices and over the course of the season how the prices will change they'll dip at certain points they'll be at high points so it kind of gives you an idea of when the best time to sell is as well um, yeah it's it's amazing it's very very detailed very very in-depth um, but fascinating I, I'm really trying to get my head around how this will work when you play it the third screen on the settings for seasons you've got seasons introductions on and off on every time it clicks to a new season it comes up on the screen the same as you would do if you get a great demand or something like that it will come up and tell you it's now gone into the new season you don't have to have that on it's up to you the keys in the help menu I think that's the help menu on the left hand side I've left that on temperature again generally speaking in the UK we'll use centigrade but we tend to use Fahrenheit in the summer uh, don't know why we switch but we just do um, so that's up to you you can change that Celsius or Fahrenheit season length now this is the interesting one as well the lowest you can go is three days so each season will be three days long three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty four days for each season that would be the most epic let's play ever um, if you want to play full-on realistic I mean that's just wow um, the snow mode you can have one layer only on or off now I know me personally it's all about the snow I love I want to see the autumn I want to see that all change because that's going to be amazing but everyone everyone loves a bit of snow um, I say everyone maybe not everyone does um, so you can turn it off you can have one layer only and I'm not entirely sure what that actually means I think you might just get that's it one one bit of snow and it will leave it like that on it's like the full snow it will snow when it snows and I think it builds on how much snow you've got snow tracks off or on I believe that's left by the vehicles and that kind of thing uh, and then crop moisture off and on 
that's an interesting one as well. I'm not 100% certain what that does. I think sometimes if the crop moisture is too high, you can't harvest it, um, which makes it incredibly realistic. Um, so again, I think you can turn that on and off, whatever you want to do. So those are the main settings really um, for the Seasons mod on console. How these all pan out, I'm not 100% certain. Like I say, we're just checking this out kind of all together. But those are where they are. So like I say, L1, press options, it'll open that menu. Now, if you press L1 and R1, it then says with the circle button, seasons, show weather forecast. So if I press circle now, we get another bar come up on the right hand side. This tells you your days. Now, if I've set mine on three days, for each season you'll see I've got two there that are left for spring Tuesday and Wednesday then Thursday Friday Saturday will be my summer then my autumn will be Sunday Monday Tuesday and then it will go around into the winter ones so that's on a three-day cycle so that gives me an indication of what the weather's going to be doing it's going to help me decide what I can do what I can you know that's very very clever as well um, this is very very immersive incredibly immersive and I'm going to say it again I'm going to keep saying it Realismus modding has done a phenomenal job now I as with a lot of mods that come up there may be glitches there may be issues there may be problems and people will comment and say this isn't working that's not working I can't get this to work how do I again I'm not 100% certain and if there are any issues or glitches they will get fixed this is, this is a big mod this is massive coming out um, and a lot of people won't like it there is another huge change that I just want to point out as I said because this changes um, the way the game's played you can put a crop in the ground and you can fertilize it and grow it and all the rest of it and pretty much in a day especially if you've got plant growth set on a fast within a few days you can go through quite a few cycles of growth that's not how the seasons mod works a season is a year if you've got it set on minimum that's going to be 12 days of gameplay which of course you can speed through you can turn the time scale up at absolutely whatever you want to do um, so there's not going to be a, it won't be a case of growing crops harvesting crops all within a day cycle or a two day cycle it will take a year it's going to be a full kind of you know a year's harvest um, which means when I scroll down all of these and I get all the way to plant growth you can't go on it help a refill there then plant growth you can't touch because the cycle runs over the year you can't speed it up you can't slow it down it's set to run through that cycle throughout the year plant withering is always on because it will do if it gets to the end of the season and you haven't harvested your crops you've forgotten something you've missed something they'll wither and die when the winter hits it'll kill them off so but it's not that panic i thought in my head oh my god plant withering's off uh i'm, I'm in plant withering's on i'm gonna miss crops it's, but that's in the old style you have to really shift the whole way you look at how you play the game now um because you've got a lot longer it, it isn't as rushed you're not panicking thinking i've got six fields planted they're all going to be ready at the same time. I've only got a couple of hours. I've got to get them all done. You've got longer. That's the whole point about the seasons mod. So you can't adjust those. It goes straight then to periodic ploughing and fertiliser states. So, yeah, that's another big change. It's all very exciting. Um, it, it really, really is. I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed off this kind of start. Um... I'm not going into any great detail or depth about gameplay or anything else yet and I haven't moved around the map it's been mostly me talking and showing you where things are in the menus because that's your first step it's understanding what the bars are telling you what information they're giving you where you can find them there's going to be a bit of reading up to do um, and there will be a lot of questions from me and from everybody else I totally understand that um, I was going to show a kind of time-lapse of the seasons scrolling through but even set on the minimum of three days and time turned up to 120 that's going to take a long time to get through those cycles so i will try and do that i'll get to some point where i'll get that done 
there will be questions I know that because this is going to affect a lot of things I'm still now thinking have I missed anything I mean I've missed loads <laughs> like I said this is not a comprehensive guide um, I'm trying to think the hard oh that was it I've just remembered right if I jump to a vehicle okay so I've jumped to a vehicle and this is what I've, I've, I knew there was one more thing I wanted to just look at very very briefly and it is just very very briefly um, what they've also put in is vehicle maintenance which is an interesting one um, if I jump into the vehicle left hand bar it will now say 30 engine hours or 12 days until the maintenance until maintenance is required so that will be based upon what you've set your season on so if you've got three day seasons 12 days will be a full year so it's that yearly maintenance that you need to be doing on your vehicles I say yearly like in the UK Ministry of Transport test like an MOT type thing your vehicle needs to be maintained regularly if you do use your vehicles a lot more it's whichever comes first 30 engine hours or 12 days it depends so if you use your vehicle a lot and you get to 30 engine hours it's going to require maintenance it needs repairing now again because this is all brand new I haven't got to that point yet um, because it's reset everything so all of my vehicles it doesn't matter how old they are um, technically when you do the maintenance it kind of puts them back kind of good as new um, that that's going to be huge but apparently, and again, like I say, don't know yet, for definite, the older it is, and if you don't do the maintenance when it's required, the, the vehicle will struggle to start, and there'll be various different things. Like I said, this mod, game changer. It adjusts so many things and makes such a big difference. You know, when you get to the winter months, I think you've got this point where the ground is frozen. You can't plow you can't do certain things when it's pouring with rain it's very very muddy it's going to make it much harder for the vehicles you know it's it's big it's a big big thing um and this is just the start really is just the start um it's a few things just to chat about to look at where the menus are things to read up on things that are in this and some of them i may have got wrong some of them i have missed i know i have missed stuff um if there's stuff that you know about that I've missed and you want me to look at and we'll, uh, there will be more videos on this let me know um, if there's things that you know already that you found out message me comment let me know what they are um, because I'll incorporate bits into other videos help me out give me advice give me stuff I'll absolutely give you a shout out if you know I'll put the videos out if it's content people want um, but there is a line to that in so much as if you can't be bothered to do it and you're just saying I'll oh, do this for me do that for me you know I'm not here as someone's slave I will do videos and I'll put stuff out if the content's going to help people but if it's something you can do yourself have a go it's the whole point of the game um, but there you go that's kind. That's it really for this uh, this video this is just a first 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 look what's here what's available what's going to be changing there are going to be a lot of things that are different a lot of things that are going to be not how i thought they were and there's going to be a lot of things that i had didn't even realize have changed so like i say leave some comments let me know if i've missed stuff if there's stuff you want to know if there are videos you want me to do showing certain things let me know and i'll see what i can do but that's it for the time being on ps4 um again if it's the same on xbox happy days i hope it is um and if you found it useful in any way shape or form give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>